Yeast is one of the most commonly used system for various molecular biology studies. This is because eukaryotic proteins express and function more properly in a eukaryotic model system like yeast than any other prokaryotic system such as E. coli. One of the most popular application of yeast system is for studying protein-protein interaction known as yeast 2 hybrid system. Later on, other modified systems to study protein DNA interaction, protein RNA interaction and ligand protein interaction were also developed. Yeast 1 hybrid or Y1H is a very powerful method to validate protein DNA interaction through downstream activation of a reporter gene. The detection in yeast 1 hybrid is based on the interaction of a protein of interest, also called as prey protein, with a specific DNA sequence known as bait sequence which lie upstream of a reporter gene leading to its expression. It is essential to note here that the principle is based on transcription factor. Transcription factor has two domains, a DNA binding domain that binds to the DNA and an activation domain that recruits transcription machinery or the RNA polymerase and activates transcription of a downstream reporter gene. In yeast 1 hybrid, two plasmid constructs are used. Construct 1, also called as bait construct, has the cassette of DNA sequence or bait to be checked for protein binding prey followed by a selection gene which is then incorporated in an integration vector. The bait sequence may be a promoter, a regulatory sequence, a cis element or any such sequence. The bait construct along with its integration vector is transformed into a yeast strain lacking important gene for histidine and leucine biosynthesis. This construct integrates into the yeast genome but the reporter gene is still not expressed. The second construct is called as prey construct. It has the gene coding for protein of interest or prey and activation domain of a transition factor such that the expressed protein is a fusion of both the genes. This construct also has a selection marker leucine to screen the transformed cells. Next this prey construct is transformed into the previously cultured yeast cells transformed with the bait construct on the media lacking histidine and leucine. The culture is allowed to grow. Now comes the detection part. If the prey protein interacts with the bait sequence of the reporter gene, it recruits the transcription machinery and the transcription of reporter gene will follow as seen by the positive colonies. If the protein does not interact with bait sequence, the transcription machinery is not recruited and reporter gene will not be expressed and hence no colony will appear. To sum up, yeast 1 hybrid studies protein DNA interaction. For yeast 1 hybrid experiment, you create a bait construct and transform it in a yeast cell. Here bait is a DNA sequence whose interaction with a particular protein needs to be checked. Next we use a prey construct which is then transformed into the yeast cell containing the bait DNA. If the prey protein binds to the bait sequence, it leads to the expression of reporter gene downstream of bait which is seen as grown colonies on selective media. If you want to learn about yeast to hybrid system and related topics, the link is given in the description.